very good afternoon one and all i request a moc team miss ramya yes sir starting this occasion by sharing this beautiful quote by rabindranath tagore man is immortal therefore he must die endlessly for life is a creative idea it can only find itself in changing forms good afternoon ladies and gentlemen on behalf of dr ngp arts and science college department of biotechnology iipc li talk bioface it's a pleasure to warmly welcome all of you for today's lecture on sustainable living with technology may i call ms ananda shaini from first msc by a very warm good afternoon to one and all gathered here welcome all experiences you never know which one is going to turn everything on on behalf of pg research department of biotechnology i would like to welcome you all for this guest lecture it's my great pleasure to welcome our chief guest mr navin ganeshan serial entrepreneur innovator technologist and influencer i welcome you sir i intend my wholehearted gratitude to our respected and beloved principal professor dr v rajendran sir in his absence on this great day with much merging of minds i warmly welcome our dean students of dr v shanmugaraju i welcome you sir and dean research and development dr s bala subramanian i welcome you sir i also welcome dr s mohan coordinator department of iipc a hearty welcome to our well wisher dr p chidambara rajan head department of biotechnology i welcome you sir it's my ardent pleasure to welcome our staff members and vibrant students for this guest lecture once again i welcome you sir thank you thank you let me call ms anugraha from first msc biotechnology to introduce our illustrious guest warm greetings to everyone gathered here It is a great honor and privilege for me to be introducing the chief guest for today's guest lecture on sustainable living with technology by Mr. Navin Ganesan, serial entrepreneur, innovator, technologist, influencer, organized by the Department of Biotechnology for IIPC LA Talk by your face. His professional experience includes founder and owner of Navin Designs, which involves in development, deployment, and LTS of web portal apps and other methods. Founder and founder of Cloud, which provides cloud related services in India that are on privacy and cloud usable energy. Inspiring millions of viewers by his YouTube channels, Navin Research Tamil and Navin Ganesan. Founder and owner of Juno Dynamics, which is an innovative firm focuses on implementing robots to carry out day to day activities for humans. He is also a social activist with various roles at different social foundations. Sir's various achievements are self-teaching himself, programming, engineering and technology, and using it as a tool to create more and more achievements such as Maker India's first do-it-yourself power wall in 2016, efficiently designed solar optimized nanogrid in 2015, Commencing Grid Zero Home and Office in 2017, which is powered using green energy. Sir has participated and dictated various expert techni- technical speeches. They are really innovative and inspiring. We are pleased and more than grateful to have your presence on this LI talk, and also a thank on behalf of principal, organizing team, and students. Thank you. Thank you. So now I heartily request and invite our guest Mr Navin Ganesan serial entrepreneur innovator technologist and influencer to take over the session Good afternoon everyone Good afternoon sir Good afternoon sir Good afternoon sir Good afternoon sir Good afternoon, sir. Keep the chat box open so that we can communicate very efficiently. Okay. 
Okay, shall we start the session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the topic we have chosen uh, today to talk uh, is regarding sustainable living with technology. And uh, people have, might have seen me in uh, YouTube channels, like um, a recent video, it has been uh, viral in social medias. Uh, it came in news, it came in uh, newspapers. And in every possible way, like uh, it, it is all about the sustainable living. Because uh, I was a little concerned about the way we live our life in this planet, um, it being eco-friendly, being uh, doing good to the environment, and all those kind of stuffs. I had all those things in my mind, and at one point I started doing something about it. Because uh, if we keep on waiting for the better product to come, better service to come, uh, it's not gonna come. Like one, once if we youngsters start doing something on our own uh, to bring out a change, then I thought that it would be the uh, right way to do stuff. So I started working on uh, one at one point, and uh, that it was really hard. Like uh, I was not having any kind of uh, scope in the beginning because uh, I was not about uh, I was not clear about the end point because. Um, when I started some, when I started uh, running my house using solar, uh, there was a lot of complications I have faced, and I it it literally took uh, more than five years to complete what I have done uh, in my house that was shown in the video. But uh, most of the time, people see what was shown in the video and they start attempting uh, to make similar uh, stuffs like that. Uh, but it really makes uh, takes a, a lot of effort behind the scenes like so if we want to do something then it will take a very long time uh, to get it done and we need to put some constant effort and constant innovation to come up with a better product that is how uh, making a thing actually works so um, in the recent days after this lockdown i have been uh, participating in few uh, seminars and guest lectures where i have seen like the youngsters nowadays are bringing a very good change. Like uh, most of them are preferring entrepreneurship over uh, getting a job somewhere, um, and that I feel that it is a, a good thing to do because entrepreneurship previously was an option, but uh, in the recent days it seems like it's uh, something that is mandatory. Uh, only if you are not preferring to be an entrepreneur, then you can uh, search for the other alternatives like going for a job or anything else. So this is how the scenario currently is, and. I think it's a good change because uh, when we are a country with a lot of interest and if we, if, if everyone uh, makes uh, doing some uh, joint effort means, I think we will be coming up with a better nation in the next 10 years. So I have a vision and I'm working towards it. Um, so if you, uh, if, you, if you have any kind of vision or if you uh, have any kind of questions to answer me, let's have this session as an interactive one so that I can know what you want to hear from me and from my experience, so that it will be uh, very useful to uh, you all. So kindly uh, let me know what in what topic, in which to which one I, you want me to concentrate more. Kindly leave your uh, opinions in the comment chat box. Previously, sir has told me that uh, so many of you are interested in uh, agriculture-oriented uh, lifestyle. Uh, if that is uh, what you want, type one, number one in the chat box and press enter. If there is something else, you can type uh, whatever you wish and you can send it to me. All right, so many people are uh, sending number one. 
I think it's a uh, single letter is easy to type. That is one reason. And so many of you are also interested in um, agricultural way of life. So, okay, let's uh, start with this thing. If you have any other opinions, then you can type in the chat box. I will be looking at it. Uh, so let's discuss because uh, I can explain this in a better way. I can share my experience um, because I'm also from an agricultural background, in, uh, basically. Uh, father is a farmer. My family was fully into farming um, until the uh, past generation. And recently, uh, the things are ch things have got changed a little bit. Um, but the way we do agriculture has changed now. I have even uh, done an interview with Mr. Vadivel sir in my YouTube channel. Uh, my channel name is Navin Research Tamil. Um, in that, uh, Dr. Vadivel sir has actually um, made a clear outline of how agriculture is going to be in the upcoming years. He has uh, clearly uh, to told me, uh, like everyone, a clear way of uh, a clear way of future of agriculture in India. And there are some good, I see some uh, good changes coming because uh, if we want to do agriculture alone, uh, I pre previously it was a very tough job to do. And at present we have modern machineries, modern equipment. Nowadays people started using drones to sp uh, spray the uh, fertilizer and pesticides and uh, all those kind of things. Um, too much of technology when we use uh, too much of technology into agriculture, uh, I am not kind of okay with it. But uh, doing some up to certain extent, technology will be good for us. And being over dependent upon the technology is not the right thing. Um, because I, I still see agriculture is still a way of life instead of a job or a profession. Um, that there are some uh, like there is a current ongoing trend. Like either you have to be a corporate or you have to go for a corporate in order to survive. That is how the present scenario is going. And our government has recently done a change, like um, they have uh, made changes to the uh, Companies Act. Previously, we had two uh, sections, major sections. One is about the public limited company. The other one is about the private limited company. Now the government has uh, made something called Producer uh, Company Limited, which means thousand farmers they can uh, join together, they can make an investment. Like imagine the basic investment is 1000 rupees. If 1000 farmers collectively uh, start starting a company and each one is investing 1000 means the government at the time of starting the company, the government will make uh, another 100% of the same investment um, while the beginning of the company itself. Like if 1000 people are joining, everyone is contributing 1000 rupees uh, to start the company. Government is contributing 1000 rupees for each and everyone to help the company grow. So your investment uh, right away after starting the company gets doubled. And uh, so wh what is the uh, company is going to do means uh, there are some basic criteria to be a uh, shareholder in that company. Only a farmer can become a shareholder and there should be at least uh, 1000 farmers. There is a criteria something like that. I, uh, you can search the internet regarding this, and there there is a collection of collect, collection of farmers who are uh, together making a company. And in, instead of um, selling their produces, they are making it as a product, and then they are uh, marketing it. They are branding it. They are packing it, and then they are making a, a marketable product, and then they are value adding it. Uh, like imagine if you are um, putting paddy in your fields, you are not going to sell the paddy right uh, right away. Uh, instead of that. They are starting a company, they are cooking the paddy, they are packing it in uh, delicious flavors and then they are selling the end product. Instead of selling the raw material, they are selling the end product which means the farmer is going to do the uh, production and the farmer's company is going to make it as a product and the company is going to uh, take care of the entire supply chain and the company is going to make profit which directly goes to the hands of the farmer. So this is how uh, th that kind of uh, company setup works. And one more thing is like they, they are not limited to agriculture. If they want to start an IT company, yeah, that company can raise funds and then they can fund an IT company and they can run it. Uh, no problem because uh, companies uh, have the freedom to do anything that is legal uh, inside the soil of our country. So um, currently the farmer producer companies are having uh, a petrol bank, a menu shop and kind of initiatives like that. 
but when you youngsters if you want to take up agriculture as a part of life then i think you can uh, come up with a team you can start up your own co company under the companies act and i think you'll be uh, better because if you want uh, imagine that if you are uh, producing some products if you want uh, you want you need an uh, online marketplace like the major e-commerce companies you want to have a company to uh, handle your, all your products means then you can start a company using the company's funds and that will be very easy this is how the a farmer producer company works there there are two videos i think uh, in my channel itself you can also uh, search the internet to more about this um, dr arun has raised another thing like tech tools used in home cleaning okay actually i have designed all these products to save my time in my own house because i i was running five startups at once i was uh, finding it very complicated to do the household activities so initially i have gone uh, solar to reduce the electricity bill and avoid and to avoid power cuts because at that uh, when i started that work power cut was a very frequent thing and i was not able to concentrate on my work because my when the power goes out my computer shuts down after a uh, little time so having a new ps was not an option for me because i have uh, to uh, invest a lot of amount of uh, batteries for it so initially i took solar as a um, way to power my entire uh, power my uh, computers and work workplace and it seems very it seemed to be very effective but after that i started digging in uh, one by one like how we are producing the energy how we are storing it how efficiently we are using it like that uh, the vision has uh, continuously grown i have I used all my free time uh, in developing uh, these kind of stuffs and literally that is how it has started and since i had experience with computers uh, for a very long time i was able to uh, do few things very quickly and i found uh, a lot of other things very complicated so that is how it uh, actually went for me so if you if someone is want interested in uh, home cleaning equipment means then make sure one of one thing whatever we do the technology and the effort we are putting it we have to market the product within uh, next 5 years or else some big company is going to step in they are going to come up with a cheaper product especially the uh, country that is next to us they are going to make it very cheap and they will literally uh, like they will push you out of business that is something happening every single time so if you have an innovation give it a shape uh, run it as a company make it as a marketable one and give the product as early as possible uh, i think that's uh, how it works how it is Are you able to see the presentation? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is how, uh, like, if we consider an eco-friendly life, these are all the things that we have to uh, look uh, in the very beginning because uh, we, we are affecting the environment very much, and these are all the uh, key factors that we have to uh, focus right away. So this is literally how global warming uh, looks like in a bigger picture. The entire planet is heating up, like it is heating up in a way like it has happened never before. The ice is melting, the temperature is going up, the forests are getting burnt, and none of these things show a good a good sign in any way. So what can we do something in this kind of uh, scenario, like? there are six ma major aspects like uh, these are all the uh, basic things we need to uh, live a life in this planet food shelter clothing and since we have evolved a lot we have had, 
we have to add three more uh, to the sub category that is energy transportation and communication so when we have uh, when we consider for we have the uh, like we have a lot of a variety of goods nowadays and the real question arises when it comes to our health we can we already have this kind of uh, our traditional food that with the locally grown uh, food item uh, food materials and it changes as per the seasons it fits our tradition very well so we already have a better system i think if we go back with our roots uh, it will be an easy way to uh, achieve what we want and the shelter so this is how the houses looks like now yeah like this is a uh, these are all old photos but uh, due to lockdowns this is exactly how it looks now so i think the image pretty much explains everything when we live in a like congested setup like this um, then we we are facing a lot of problems uh, like from uh, uh, like we are not be able to be friendly with the planet and we are not able to uh, uh, handle the situation when like a pandemic hits it's hitting us hard because of the cluttered setup we already have so in order to avoid this thing we have an alternate way of living in our past so this is the house setup we previously had if we are if we show this kind of uh, house to someone Uh, right away they will say that they, they are very much interested in uh, living in this house but uh, i i seriously doubt how long they will be able to make it there because if the internet just uh, try the, the simple thing you turn off your computers turn off your mobile phone for the next 3 hours and see what happens if you are able to manage uh, to spend the next 3 hours without electricity or computer or gadgets i think uh, you will be uh, able to try living in this house or else we can have a uh, alternative way of uh, living like this can be very effective this image is from the tesla's website and they have the uh, solar uh, solar roof the entire roof of this house has solar panels uh, there is a, a lithium ion battery uh, sitting near the garage and they have a, the family has an electric car for mobility and they can charge the car and they they can power the entire house using solar power Uh, i think this is uh, the straight away solution for the eco friendly living when it comes to shelter and clothing like uh, it's there is no problem with the clothing uh, like there are some small kind of uh, things that we have to address when we use polyester as uh, our primary dressing method uh, we are actually every time we are washing the cloth we are letting some uh, like micro level uh, stuffs to get into the water and it is uh, getting into the uh, waste water stream it is reaching the ocean it's ca causing micro level uh, pollution in the uh, ocean which is uh, also affecting the ocean life and we we are using a uh, high amount of dye to color our clothes again that is uh, polluting the water resources we already have we are we are actually having scarcity of water in so many parts of our country and something like this is very serious and wearing a polyester cloth is also having some kind of uh, demerit so we already have the solution for this problem as well so instead of cotton and uh, sorry instead of polyester we can go with the co uh, cotton dresses and instead of these kind of uh, artificial uh, coloring agents we can go with the organic and the uh, natural extract naturally extracted colors so in that way we can refine our clothing again we don't have to uh, go back 50 years in history to do all these things we have the modern technologies to uh, reinvent all those things with the present classic touch energy so these are all the six major types of energy production and you can straight away by looking at the picture you can say like uh, which one is the most viable one um, i think uh, the, uh, like be it uh, coal gas nuclear hydro wind power and solar power everything has uh, a little amount of pollution at some point of time like even if we say solar power is very friendly yeah that, there are some pollutions involved by when we are manufacturing the panel and once the panel is end of life it's going to be uh, recycled but even at that time it's going to make some uh, waste items so, so it it is not totally avoidable but 
it is slightly better than uh, other things and i uh, uh, there are many people who say that windmills are uh, another option uh, we see a lot of windmills uh, in the pamto region itself but windmills are not uh, friendly with the birds they kill the birds in large numbers like uh, if you uh, ever able if you ever like supposed to visit a, a wind farm means just observe how many birds are there like when the um, blade is uh, rotating in a very fast speed uh, it can kill birds like it can literally kill every single bird away, uh, that is flying flying there because birds are not able to sense the this kind of uh, high speed blades coming in the air when they are flying so that is one kind of a problem uh, it's not like it's it might be eco friendly but it is not eco uh, like friendly to other living organisms that is uh, one kind of issue we are having there the other ones they they are all disastrous at one point of time so we have the uh, straight away uh, option the least polluting one that is solar so these are all the transportation methods we already have in the left and the same alternatives uh, the eco friendly ones on the right uh, previously we had the gas uh, like the fuel uh, combustion engine powered trucks buses and cars now we have the same set of electric uh, vehicles and even our state is having the electric bus running in the capital um, i think the uh, the transition is going to be very smooth and even the electric vehicles are easier to maintain they are coming in large numbers i think this is a, a good way to do the transition and communication when it comes to communication again uh, we have uh, 3g and then we are uh, we have upgraded to 4g we are highly depending upon mobile phones and televisions nowadays and the internet as the connecting medium so this is how uh, it all looks but uh, having too much amount of cell towers uh, i think uh, that is going to cause some kind of problem in the future when we are consuming a lot of amount of data so many people are complaining that they are not able to get a proper signal in their place so in order to overcome that thing the bottom left is the correct solution for us like running fiber optics uh, is one viable option because our country already has uh, something called as the bharat fiber like every single uh, village in our city country has already uh, has got uh, fiber optic connectivity throughout the entire nation and there are some central government uh, schemes like uh, public data office which uh, youngsters can start a private limited company and then they can set up a pub, uh, public data office like it's like the coin phone like uh, someone can go uh, put five rupees they can get the wifi access for the next 30 minutes or one hour something like that there are so many business opportunities in this as well if you are uh, if you are choosing agricultural as a, as your primary way of life you can start your farmer producer company and that company can run up a, a public data office so the potential is literally unlimited so this is these are all the things that i have done in my place like i have a 3d printer in my house to make the plastic parts that i need so once the, uh, the need gets over i can recycle them i can turn those parts into something some other parts that is still usable um, so that is how a lot of things are made in this house the second picture shows the uh, outer side of my house there are a lot, uh, my house is entirely surrounded by a lot of trees and i have a lithium battery uh, like not just one i have five lithium batteries powering the entire house um, birds like every day i used to receive hundreds of birds here and we have pets and there are other living organisms living along with us uh, in in our house outside so this is how i uh, i'm living my house at present so when i'm uh, when we go to shopping then if we are able to set up if you guys are coming up with the farmer producer company means then you will be able to locally supply your goods so that we can avoid lost lot of these packing materials these plastic covers and a lot of landfill and even though the boxes are friendly over the plastic covers uh, still there are some problem because uh, even these kind of boxes uh, these these are made of paper paper comes from tree and in long term it, this can be also be avoided because uh, in a lockdown scenario we are, we do have so many options like if we are able to deliver something locally 
and it will be faster, it will be very convenient, and it will also save the planet. So, uh, this would be the uh, final slide. Uh, like, uh, we should make recycling as a as a habit, and eco friendly uh, is not something hard. It's very easy if we adapt it. Uh, it is highly economical as well, and being uh, friendlier and to the planet and being uh, kind towards other other living beings, uh, it reduces the stress in a higher higher like uh, like higher percentage and. Changing ourselves, like if, if I wanted to do something, if I'm bringing the change in me, it changes an entire nation slowly and steadily. I think this is the uh, right way uh, we can uh, take this on. So, and if you have anything else, you can unmute and you can ask, or else you can. Uh, Put it in the chat box. Thank you, sir. The session is over for queries. Students can interact with the guests right now. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, sir, you have said about lithium battery. Yeah. So, what is the cost of lithium battery? And in your YouTube channel, you have mentioned about uh, lithium battery powered uh, wall. So, how do you build that? Okay. Uh, so, how much does a lithium battery cost? It, uh, when you are looking, okay, okay, let's do the apple to apple comparison here, okay? Uh, so that it will be easy for us to understand. If we are uh, taking a 100 AH, 12 volt lead acid battery, uh, and assume that the price of this 100, 100 AH battery uh, cost is like around 10,000. The same uh, lithium battery is going to, like lithium has a lot of chemistries, uh, like lithium ion, lithium phosphate, lithium ferrophosphate, and lithium polymer. There are a lot of chemistries that is available. So, uh, like the present uh, most friendly techno uh, technology we have is lithium ferrophosphate. So, if the lead acid battery cost is 10,000, lithium ion is going to be 17,000 and lithium ferrophosphate is going to be 22,000. And um, if, you, if you consider the overall lifetime, uh, the lead acid battery actually uh, comes for a overall duration of 5 years. And for the same uh, lithium battery, we will have uh, like the four times of life at, uh, as a basic one. Even if you are not using, consider if you are uh, connecting the battery to your UPS and you are using it, then the lead acid battery will last for uh, five years like if you do a proper maintenance. And if you are not using the UPS, if you are turning off your devices and you are disconnecting your battery and leave, letting it sit idle for next six months means the battery is going to be uh, losing its uh, charge due to its chemistry. That is not something that is going to happen with the lithium battery. Because if we, if you fully charge a lithium battery, and if you put it in a shelf, and if you come back after five years, you can see only five percent of the energy is lost. So when we are not using the battery, the battery is not getting depleted. So that is one kind of advantage with the lithium battery. And uh, there is something called as a battery management system. Um, so that what what that uh, equipment on uh, like. You, the purpose of having that battery management system means there are two um, major categories of battery management systems we have. One is active battery management system, another one is passive. Uh, the active management system, it balances the uh, all the battery packs and it, it, it helps uh, increasing the overall life of the battery. And even if we use a passive battery management system, it just monitors and it just gives uh, gives keeps us informed. We don't have to do the maintenance in case of a short circuit, in case of a, a high discharge, uh, high charge. In that uh, time, the battery uh, management system kicks in and it does a very good job maintaining the battery. So, lithium batteries are uh, like initially the investment is double, but overall the lifetime can be four times. So it's profitable by the way. And uh, power wall. Power wall means like not putting the battery uh, in a wall. It's a pack. It's a full pack of uh, lithium battery. Uh, it's wall-mountable design. Like 
we have the water filters nowadays wall mounted right so that we can wall mount the entire lithium battery in a wall so that it doesn't occupy a huge space in our house or in our office so that is what the power wall uh, actually is and few more points about my 3d printing okay 3d printing um, initially it started with the prusa printer uh, my friend has got a prusa printer from Czech republic the cost was around 1 lakh 30 thousand so initially we had some uh, experience with the computer designs so we are able to do some designs and we are able to get it as a printed item from the printer so it was very easy for us in the beginning so we we was we were searching for some um, effective alternative uh, ways to get the affordable printer and after that we have got the creality uh, company in our uh, like from china they have started uh, making the clone of cruiser printers and we brought those printers and we upgraded them and we are actually um, the, this entire house has a lot of things that are 3d printed um right away i can show you a lot of gadgets like in a recent video i have shown this uh, storage box it is uh, fully 3d printed and there is a, a camera mount that is holding the camera behind uh, behind the screen uh, the entire arm the uh, entire holder phone holder everything is 3d printed and even if you uh, if, even if we take a look in uh, in my house means there are uh, there are a lot of 3d printed items you can find here and there is a printer sitting behind me i am i'm currently upgrading this printer um, for a high speed uh, printing so this is how uh, 3d printing has a lot of potential if we want something then we can just uh, do the design in a computer and just with the click of a button we can make the product and we can use it in a few hours so that is how it works so if we at one point if you are not uh, having any kind of need for the printer product we can just uh, recycle the product into a raw material and then we can supply it to the printer and we can uh, make something else using it so entire uh, from production to recycling everything happens in a very compact space and it helps a lot is lithium battery safe to use uh, okay uh, this is kind of a complicated question uh, the answer is yes and no so why why the answer is both yes and no means um, that, that, that that and there is uh, there are some uh, events like the major mobile company uh, a well known mobile company has made up and when charging the phone has exploded like when using the internet when driving the battery faster the battery has exploded so that, those kind of scenarios has had already occurred uh, even some electric cars uh, have got fire got on fire and even uh, the we don't have like the electric skateboards in our country and in foreign countries there are a lot of scenarios where the lithium bi uh, ion battery is catching fire those are all the common uh, things that happens with the lithium ion battery and when it comes to lithium ferrophosphate uh, those batteries don't have the tendency to explode like lithium ion so there are some ba better battery chemistries coming nowadays and those are all a uh, little kind of friendly batteries um and there is if we, um, in youtube you can see a lot of channels and they instruct on uh, making the batteries um frankly speaking for knowledge sharing purpose uh, when we go and search of a lithium battery in the market or if you uh, if some of you want to make a lithium battery manufacturing company you can just go and find uh, all these components the battery the cell holder the bms you can get it from many places but uh, there are some good quality manufacturers for the uh, battery management systems and there are already duplicates available in the market it's very hard to identify which one is the original and which one is the duplicate until uh, we do some intensive testing uh, so when we use the duplicate products because they are available at a cheaper price so good products actually cost a little bit higher and the cheaper products the knock off ones the duplicates it costs less so when we ask something for a lesser price we are not uh, going to uh, deal with the person who is uh, providing the uh, best of the best we uh, if we go for the cheaper price means then the one who is going to offer the cheaper price might be select the counterfeit items or the clone ones 
and in a long term the clones are not supposed to handle that kind of a stress the original one is designed to have that is how uh, they save money by making the clone uh, so if even if someone is interested in making a lithium battery company means manufacturing unit means uh, go with the right product go with the highest quality uh, go with the industrial standards if it's possible uh, go even beyond the industry standards and make something that is more robust because when we put uh, higher quality components in a longer lifespan if the battery is imagined that you are making a cheaper battery and the battery needs service every 3 years and if you are making a very good battery that requires service every 9 years like the customer is not going to think about you or your product for the next 9 years they totally forget you but when they go to a place where they meet so many people and imagine that five people are talking among each other one is saying that our lithium battery needs a service every single year the other person says our battery needs only service and every 3 years and your customer they are going there and saying that uh, my battery uh, in the past 9 years we need never had a service uh, it just runs fine like that is the kind of scenario that is going to happen and when we uh, go for the quality products even if you buy a mobile phone the flagship phones last very long even if you drop it you even if you break it uh, the flagships are designed to uh, perform well even in uh, such kind of an abuse so that is how the costlier uh, things the quality ones and the cheaper things with the lesser quality works so the safety of the battery depends upon the way it was built any other questions okay when uh, the wind turbine with magnetic blades which can rotate then the wind was in low mm, yeah like see like as a concept so many things are possible but uh, when we have an alternative method that is highly effective why we have to uh, keep on uh, looking into the wind turbines because when they uh, like th this method can be an alternative like uh, if the wind uh, is not blowing for the uh, one hour time period then if this one is usable means the environmental impact the wind turbines are having in long term by killing birds uh, i don't think we are we will be okay with it in long, longer term Anyone else? If it's hard to type, then you can unmute and you can ask your questions straight away. What do I think about solar wind hybrid energy production? What do you mean? Like, I'm not getting your question. Uh, like, you mean like the solar wind hybrid energy production? Because th those are like. Uh, these kind of things uh, like the implementation level can vary okay uh, if you are doing something in your house uh, and like you you are having two modes of uh, power generation like there is one uh, wind turbine the leaves are entirely made using solar panels it also works as a solar panel and it also works as a wind turbine uh, so i think that is something you are asking and instead uh, like take the pricing uh, and put it in a paper see how much does a wind turbine cost so how much does a solar panel cost how much electricity you get from both and uh, like do a calculation of the hybrid system the windmill with the solar panel as its uh, wind and i mean the leaf uh, in that case how much electricity you are getting if you uh, put these kind of things into paper means then i think you will be able to get the answer a nice presentation sir i have the query um what will be the uh, expense uh, to be uh, for installation of the solar energy in your own house sir uh, okay uh, this depends upon the uh, basically depends upon the electricity bill um, uh, fr from my calculation if we uh, say for example if an house is getting about 2500 in a uh, summer uh, time 
then what would be the expense so how what is the power to be installed and what are the necessary uh, things to be installed to get out of uh, this type of uh, uh, variations amount variations okay sir i got your question uh, first of all we have to uh, like uh, we have to like uh, come to a uh, the breaking point like the more we uh, like the more we get disconnected from the nature the more it's going to cost us to uh, to uh, have our living in this planet that, so that is how the thumb rule works the more we deviate the more we are spending so being eco friendly means uh, by, uh, building an eco friendly house it's going to reduce the uh, temperature it going uh, like if we do a very good job with uh, reducing the needs then it's going to be very simple and when we are going for a solar panel uh, imagine like uh, pulling a uh, like when when like take it as a car um, like a, fi- a car that in which five people can travel when only one is traveling the engine is not going to have very much uh, load in it when five people are fully loaded like five people are sitting inside the car the engine is going to have little amount of struggle so if we want to save electricity cost and we uh, we want to consider a solar option option then i think uh, the first thing we have to do is not going with the solar we have to go with the energy efficient devices because a uh, normal ceiling fan cost is around 1200 to 1400 a blbc fan costs around uh, 2800 to 3000 and the consumption of a normal ceiling fan uh, is 90 to 95 watts and a blbc fan consumes uh, less than 35 watts so if uh, we have to do all those kind of uh, equipment level changes first uh, so it will uh, result in lesser amount of con- consumption and then if we uh, like do a calculation and if we change all these things then the uh, total consumption will uh, come to a smaller number and after that uh, we can uh, multiply that uh, total consumption by 2 and we can install the panels accordingly so that i think uh, we will have uh, in that way we will have the uh, returns on investment in a very faster basis thank you mono or polyps line which which one is best for 2 kv production for home i think uh, there are some hybrid systems which has both nowadays uh, so mm, mono works in high sunlight areas polyps line uh, actually i think uh, i in, uh, my choice uh, always is polyps line i have all the polyps line panels in, installed at my house polyps line for 2 kv i think the uh, if you get it from a, a manufacturer or from a wholesale dealer i think the cost will be around uh, like 21000 at present so it will be only 42000 for 2 kv of panels i think polyps line is cheaper mono occupies a lesser amount of space and mono is a little bit pricier on the upper upper side, upper side. if anyone else has any questions means then you can type in the chat box or you can just unmute yourself and you can ask okay if no one is having uh, any questions means uh, type one in the chat box students do you have any questions you can click clarify you can ask me regarding uh, technology uh, anything related to the computers websites internet uh, batteries electric vehicles automation Okay. okay. If it's not, we can wind up. Okay. Thank you, sir. It was really inspiring. Students, kindly fill the feedback form, which is in the chat box. In order to close today's event, may I now call Ms. Yoga Priya from Second BSc Biotechnology to deliver the word of thanks. Good afternoon to all. 
I deem it a great honor and privilege to prepare the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's occasion a resounding success. First and foremost, I thank our special guest, Mr. Navin Ganesan, serial entrepreneur, innovator, technologist, influencer, for his useful lecture on sustainable living with technology, who despite his busy schedule, has found time to grace this occasion. And I also express my heartfelt thanks to our principal, Professor Dr. V. Rajendran sir in his absence. Next, I thank our head of the department, Dr. P. Chidamara Rajan sir, for his good guidance and encouragement in his efforts. I also thank all the other staff members without whom this session would be incomplete. Last but not least, I thank the students for their cooperation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Travelers, apostrophe yes, travelers, like. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks, everyone. I really had a good time to talk and let, uh, meet some other time. You see? Uh, I'm in this situation. Uh, Sorry, you see? Uh, 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 so, I hope you see how to see you all. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.